Welcome back. Well, now that summer's here, many of us are going to be outside and start grilling. So today for our midday makeover, we head on down to Mustang Sally's and Horseheads to learn the perfect way to season and grill your favorite meat. Thank you and welcome back to our midday makeover segment. Today I'm joined here with Donnie Ledoux, the head chef of Mustang Sally's and Horseheads. And today we're going to be making a grilled pork chop. Absolutely. Uh, right. Everyone likes grilling. You can do it in the winter, the summer. It's winter if you're brave, I guess. <laughs> um, but uh, pork chops are really nice. Tender, you can keep really tender and juicy. Um, I guess the best, best way to, to do it is just season them a little bit. We have a little bit of our uh, little blend of spices. Nice. Uh, salt, pepper, garlic. Okay. Um, the best way to season is season from about a foot above it. If you season too close, you're only going to hit that area of the meat, okay. and you got to you can over salt or over season that way. If you season from above, it'll kind of disperse spread as out. you spread it. So we'll bring them over to the grill. Okay. Put it with a little non-stick. And you didn't do anything before that pork chop nope. right out of the package, yep. or however you get your pork. And when you lay it onto the grill, I try and lay a, a focal point, Just pointing. If you're looking at a clock, at about two o'clock. Okay. So that at part, part way through when we make our turn, we can get those nice crosshatch marks. Nice. If you start the pork at 10 o'clock, and then when you spin it, you spin it to 2 o'clock, it'll give you perfect cross marks every time. Oh, okay. Good to know. And one of the bigger things is if you're going to cook a fatter piece of pork, you want to kind of uh, keep your grill on a medium to a moderate heat rather than a really high heat. Okay. Because it's going to be on there so long that if it's too high, you're going to really, really burn the outside and make it almost inedible. But since we're doing pork, but you want to cook a little longer, we got our grill about medium heat. Okay. And that'll keep the uh, cross marks and the tenderness of the pork kind of one and the same. And how long do you, how long does the pork stay on there for? Um, for something half an inch thick or so, I would say probably six minutes a side, six and a half minutes a side. All right. And uh, one of the classic combinations is uh, pork pairs really well with apples. Yes. So it, all I did was julienne a little bit of apple. You can hit it with a little bit of lemon juice if you want for a little bit of acid. Okay. So now we're ready to go on our pork chop. Okay. So right on the plate. Okay. And you can just almost build like a little apple slaw right on top of the pork. Oh, top cool. Like that. Great. And you, you can top that with a uh, pork gravy if you'd like, or you can just go right with the crunchiness of the apple with the juiciness of the pork, and I think that'll work just fine for you. All right, and there you have the grilled pork chops. Well, thank you again, Donnie, for joining us. And as always, you can get this recipe along with the others at WENY.com.